Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is about this past week's melting basket and empties. And I have some, um, I have a little bit of empties this week and some standouts of the gently used. So let's get started. Um, I've been working on Dessa's quite a lot this past week because she has her customs coming up in a week. And of the blends I have, I'm not going to go too crazy just because I have a ton of wax. But I do want to, excuse me, I just took a drink of soda. So if you hear something that's uh, part of life, excuse me. <laughs> um, I've been trying to melt through the scents that I have of Dessa's just to find out which ones I really, 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 really can't live without. And I'm on the fence on some of them. So um, let's get into these. Uh, Poppy is in the room. If you see her uh, jumping around, she is here. So she does have her cone on still because she is still battling her her skin issue. But um, if you see her, she has her cone on. So, okay, let's go through the gently used ones first, and then we will talk about the empties. Okay, uh, these are, like I said, I have been melting a lot of different scents but these are just some standouts from this week beachfront sassy girl i feel like this is really up in my face so i'm going to move it back just a little bit there we go okay beachfront sassy girl this is from last march beach nights waffle cone cotton candy frosting this was a standout from this past week just because Oh, it's beach nights. I love beach nights. It's beach night season. I love it. And I'm really getting on warm, guys. This is incredible. This is beach nights, definitely. But you get the warmth of that waffle cone, just like you're on the boardwalk and you're walking to a um, uh, hand scoop pretzel. Hand scoop pretzel, man. Hand scooped ice cream shop. And you get that whiff of waffle cone when you walk to the door. That's this with cotton candy frosting with just a little bit of sweetness. This is not as sweet as Be Humble, which has cotton candy and elderberry in it. That's much more sweet. It's sweeter than this one. And I finished that one up the last couple of weeks. So if you watch my videos regularly, that one I do talk about. And even though this has cotton candy in it, it's not as sweet as Be Humble. But this is perfect. I love this. I had this going in all seven of my warmers at one point. I have three melts here left, so I think I'll do this upstairs um, just to enjoy it. Maybe next week I'll finish this one up. Okay, next one. I've talked about this two weeks in a row, but this is phenomenal. This is Empire Alchemy Main Street Strawberry. I love this. This is waffle cone, vanilla ice cream, fresh fried beignets, kettle corn, and sweet strawberries. There's just something about this. Oh, I can't put my finger on, I think I'm smelling the buttery kettle corn that hits my nose first. But it also might be the fried beignets. I don't know. But any, anyways, it's damn good. The waffle cone is good in here. I get a little bit of the creaminess from the vanilla ice cream, and I don't get so much strawberry. I get a little bit, but the goodness of the waffle cone beignet, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> I'm sorry. Waffle cone, beignet, and um, kettle corn is just, this is phenomenal. I have two bags of this coming in the last pre-order. I had to get more of that. That is a beautiful one. And zucchini bread blueberry from L3. This is delicious. I love this. I had this going in up, all my upstairs warmers this week. It was so good. Ah, it's zucchini bread. The perfect creamy, spicy, zucchini with that addition of blueberry this is good this is almost like it's not like blueberry muffin blueberry muffin her oil blueberry muffin is a little bit artificial to me just like blueberries and cream is a little bit artificial to me this is an authentic blueberry this is kind of like blueberry cobbler without so much cobbler if that makes sense this oh, i love this i might put that in the morning finish that up Okay, and I have, these are gently used um, Dessas, iced circus cookies. This is a house blend of animal-shaped sugar cookies covered in pink and white icing and candy sprinkles. Now this one, you know, I, I'll be honest with Dessas. 
I've been melting desses this whole entire week. And even though I have a couple here that I have finished and a couple that are still to be finished, I'm not getting the strongest throw with all of her blends. And I've been talking to a few people and a couple feel that they, they have to use more of the wax itself to get the, the throw that they're used to from other um, vendors. And I'm not really crazy about having to use more of a product than what I need to from another vendor. And yes, I understand that each vendor is different and all that stuff, but I'm just not crazy, especially with these snap bars. Um, there's only seven in here. And if I can't get seven different melts and I have to maybe get three to four, that's kind of a buzzkill to me a little bit. So I'm just putting that out there. Dessa is not performing the best for me with a lot of these scents. And there is one here that is a really good one that I might purchase in customs just because it's a great scent. And I do have a few more I'm working on that I just started. Let's see, today's Saturday. I just threw them in today, so they'll be in next week's. But I'm iced circus cookies i'm just being honest with you guys i mean i want transparency on my on my channel here and i'm just i'm not impressed with dessa so far but that being said this is a good animal cookie scent it's when it's warmed up it becomes a little bit more stronger but it's pretty faint in the bag here to me and i wish it wasn't because i love animal circus cookies this is so good um I've had them from different vendors and I love it and it's just so nostalgic and good and this I wish it was stronger that's what I say I'll say about this I wish it was stronger if anybody knows any hints like this is my first purchase from Dessa's and I don't have a crazy amount of experience with her if there's any tips or tricks let me know I'll try anything the second um, now this is one I actually enjoy this is La Patisserie and this was given to me in a random act of kindness earlier this year. This is pastry dough, caramelized sugar, buttercream, and cinnamon sugar. Now, I will say, I believe the caramelized sugar and the cinnamon sugar in this one really make this scent throw because they're just, they're strong oils. And this one I had going upstairs. I had all these upstairs, primarily in my office because I really wanted to get a feel for how they smell. This one is caramelized sugar dominant and cinnamon sugar second just that that it's bakery but cinnamon bakery this is a nice one I don't know if I will put this in a custom or buy more of that I am not sure however this next one is sweet macerated strawberries now this one I really do like and not just because I'm obsessed with strawberry right now but this is a really good scent this is sliced strawberries coated in sugar until the sweet Natural sweet syrup is released. This is a nice one. And I have two, two cubes here left. And I even put this in my tea light warmers, which throw hot and throw strong and throw wild. And I'm just, I'm struggling with desses. I really am. But this one, it's that it's beautiful, like sliced. I just bought strawberries at the store today and I might make macerated strawberries. Who knows? Um, it's like you slice up the strawberries, put a little bit of sugar or Splenda. I use Splenda on mine um, and mash them up with a fork. My mother used to do it all the time growing up with angel food cake or pound cake, the old Sara Lee pound cake. But this smells just like, just like that, like that natural syrup from strawberries. And it isn't too strong, but I don't think it's meant to be because I think if it would be stronger, this one, it would be too artificial. But this one is perfect. And this one is one that I will order more of just because it's so good. And I could see myself blending this with a lot of other different scents, any different fruits, any bakeries. This one I will buy more of. That is a good one. And I know that's a crazy seller for her too. Okay, let's get into the empties. I just have a little bit this week. I didn't do too crazy. I bought a Woe, Woe Wax um, from Empire Alchemy. You know, the, um, the ones that don't quite make a full bag. This is boysenberry pancakes. This is boysenberry jam, whipped cream, and buttered pancakes. Now, this one here, this was good. Would I buy it again? I don't, I don't think I would. Just because... 
I'm not getting any pancake and I'm certainly not getting any whipped cream. I'm just getting boysenberry. It's just like a single oil to me. And although I give Anna credit, she this was a new blend that she put together because I think if I remember right, she's she's distantly related to Knott's Berry Farm, you know, from California. And that's really, really cool. But this one, it's good. And when it was on, it threw well. It was a nice berry scent, but it was just berry. It wasn't a, I didn't get pancake from it. I didn't get anything more than just berry. But, but this was a good scent. I would just want to try something different. I finished up my very first souffle from Teddy Bee's from the pre-order. This is ice cream for breakfast. This is Fruit Loops, excuse me, vanilla ice cream, caramel, Fruit Loops, and vanilla sugar waffle cone. This was delicious, incredible, and wonderful. I love this. Oh, the bag still smells good. That Fruit Loops oil is so strong. My husband loved this one. I bought this one with him in mind. He loves Fruit Loops. I've said that a thousand times on here, but it's the truth. Um, I really get the creaminess of the waffle cone. Uh, what drew me to this was the caramel and the waffle cone mixed in with Fruit Loops. This was a gorgeous scent. I love it. It's so good. The waffle cone is just enough bakery, just enough warmth to make that Fruit Loops smell a little bit more than just cereal. This is good. I would buy that again if it's offered again. Very good. Next is Bear Claws from Destination Wax. I melted this exclusively in my kitchen, and I'm pretty sure this oil is discontinued. If I if I remember one of the posts in the last six months or so, I think Bear Claws is discontinued. This is cinnamon pastry filled with dates, raisins, and nuts. Now this one, it's good. Really good. It's a cinnamon bakery, but I can actually smell, if you've ever had a Bear Claw, they're filled sometimes with nuts, pecans, and... Um, dates, raisins, like this is saying, this is, this is spot on. I, when I was a barista, they sold, um, it was a donut shop too. So they sold pastries and goodies and the bear claws were massive and they had pecans and this syrupy stuff. It was the same syrup that was used in the sticky buns, the pecan sticky buns, you know, the kind that you fill in kind of like a pineapple upside down cake. You put the top on the bottom, then you flip it over. This reminds me of that. And haven't worked there for 20 years, so it didn't smell amazing. It just comes right back to you. This is a beautiful, I, I get the raisins, and I get the nuts, and I get that sweetness of the dates. Dates are very sweet, and I get that cinnamon and that glaze. This was a gorgeous one, and I, if it's discontinued, I'm sorry it's discontinued, but I, I if it's available, if anybody knows, let me know. I will buy more of that. Very good. I have a two-pack of Gigi Scented Adventures of Angel. This is the perfume, Angel. This is poured May 2nd. I don't even know if Gigi offers this oil anymore. This is going in my kitchen right now. This is Angel. I have worn this fragrance for years. I love it. It's, um, I wouldn't quite call it my signature scent because I wear so many different perfumes. I would say the perfume I've purchased the most in my life is probably a Burberry Brit or Armani Code. But Angel is third place, probably, because I've probably went through two or three bottles in my life. And Marty actually likes this one, too. So this is exactly like the perfume. Um, I should have looked at the notes before I started this video. But if you are interested in Angel or trying out Angel as a perfume, just Google it. Um, it's Theory Muggler, T-H-I-E-R-R-Y-M-U-G-L-E-R, -E -E or Theory Muggler. I think it's Muggler. Um, he passed away recently. I do remember that. But um, Angel is one of the best products that he ever offered. So there's that. Another blue um, Destination Wax scent I finished is Blueberry Basket. And I did this one in my kitchen exclusively also. This is a basket full of ripe blueberries, grapes, and plums. This is a rich, sweet berry scent. This was a really, really good one. I can see why this is one of her best sellers. Just simply because... It's got the, it's not just blueberry. It's got the depth of the grapes. It's got plums. Plums are so good. Plums are underrated. And it has, it makes you feel like you're just picking blueberries or you're sniffing through the berry section and you just hone in on the juiciest blueberries and the ripest plums that you can get. And that's this basically. Very, very good. 
I only have a couple more here, and usually my empties videos are over a half hour long, but this one is a short one today. Um, I've been I've been melding a lot of different scents, a lot of different things I've worked on this week, but I'm trying to get through wax, and I'm shifting scents around for the, the season, getting more spring and summer scents in my in my um, tote to use and moving stuff down to the basement where it's cooler naturally, um, for the, the season. And I'm working on a lot of different, um, scents. So, uh, I will talk more about, um, cause I, I'm, I'm getting to where I'm almost at the end of a scent. So I'll be finishing up a lot of bits and pieces this week. So my video next weekend should be a little bit longer for empties. Next, I finished up this muffin of Rose Girls. Strawberry pound cake, cotton candy frosting, monster cookie, and marshmallow smoothie. And I think this is really from the very first pre-order I ever made in February of 21 with Rose Girls. It's an old puppy, so I thought I've got to get him used and out of here. And you know, this one, it's basically strawberry pound cake with a little bit of extra cookie. I really wasn't getting, I mean, of course, cotton candy just sweetens stuff up. And I, I didn't really identify a lot of cotton candy in this. But I certainly could smell the strawberry pound cake. And I certainly could smell the monster cookie, which this was a good one. Would I buy it again? I like her strawberry um, pound cake fluff puffs a little bit better. It's a little bit richer and more buttery. Uh, which I like. This is okay. This is a one and done for me. I have a little sample of Ava's Country Covered. I made a very small order of Ava's and I didn't make a haul video for it just because it was only three items. So it wasn't worth it to me, frankly. But this sample is Apple Fritter Zucchini Donuts. This was really good and it lasted a long time. I don't have a crazy ton amount of experience with Ava's. I've melted it here and there a few times. And, um, so I wanted to make a little order just to try some strawberry stuff that she was offering. And this is really good. It's exactly what it says. Apple fritter, zucchini, and donuts. I get the greasy from the donuts. I get the spice from the zucchini bread and the cinnamon and spices that are in the apple fritters. I'm really, I'm really getting that. And it is really good. I like that. I would buy that. And finally, this is so far my front runner from Dessa's in a different way than the sweet macerated strawberries is. This is Seize the Day. This is a house blend of ocean air, driftwood, hints of sea moss, inspired by Nemo and seagulls. This is good. Yes, this is a oceanic aquatic scent. The ocean air definitely is the forefront, but I love stuff with moss in it. I've had, I have a couple of super tarts, actually not a couple, a one blend of super tarts. It has moss in it and it was my, it's been my favorite scent of super tarts up to this day. And I think there's something with moss with me. I really like this. And, um, I would buy this. I think, I think I might make this into a little, a little mini loaf in the, um, Dessa's pre-order. I might. This is good. If you like a, like I said, oceanic, aquatic, clean, um, fragrance or, uh, something that is greenery, this is greenery like and a little bit of driftwood. So you get a little bit of that, that sea salt water soaked wood. It's good. This is a good one and it lasts a long time. So everything I've felt, maybe her bakery isn't the best for me, but it obviously, I mean, she has a lot of customers, so they do throw well for people. I'm just giving you my honest opinion about it. This is doing well for me. I finished it all up as you can see. So, okay. Great talking to you guys. I stay, um, if you're interested in what I'm melting this coming week, watch my video next weekend. So have a good weekend, everyone. I'll see you soon.